All right, so in today's video, we will be checking out the Vivefly GPS Mate. So very straightforwardly, I'm just going to be telling you what the GPS Mate can do. Number two, we're going to be connecting the GPS Mate to our flight controller and also hook it up with the GPS so you can basically know how the uh, how the installation was done. And number three, we're going to go out and we're physically going to be testing it to see how the function actually works. So at the end, I hope you can decide if this is something that you actually need if you are going to run your drones with the GPS. All right, let's get going. Okay, so first thing first, let's actually start by unboxing it. So you can see that this is going to be the GPS Mate itself. So it's just going to be a little PCB board with little plugs. And also we're going to see that there's going to be two cables that's coming with it. And then you're going to get like a little shrink wrap in case you have to remove the original one to connect stuff. All right, you're going to also get like a manual, which is going to basically show you most of the stuff that you needed to know, like how to connect the flight controller and also the GPS mate. So basically just to give you a introduction of what is the purpose of the GPS mate, if you are familiar with using GPS on Betaflight at least, you know that you will have to get a certain amount of GPS lock, like basically satellite locks before Betaflight software is going to allow the quad to take off. So if you do not have that GPS locked, the quad is just going to be grounded, you won't be able to arm it and that's going to be an issue. So most of the case, if your flight controller is having a 4 slash 5 volt pad like this one, you do have a 4 slash 5 volt pad, you will be able to power up your GPS using a USB power source. So basically you plug in a USB-C cable and basically the board start feeding power to GPS and the VTX is not powered on yet. You will be able to like get the GPS to lock on the satellite. Once it locked, you can power, you can plug in a battery and then basically your quad is just ready right away with without you having to like relock the GPS and wait about five minutes again. So that's gonna be convenient, but for certain flight controller boards, this is not an option. You do not have the paths that will allow you to power up your GPS board using a USB-C power source. So this is where the GPS mate actually comes in. So basically the GPS mate is going to act as a ex external power source. You're going to basically connect the GPS mate to your flight controller. And in the middle, you can see that there's going to be a battery right here. And the other side goes to the GPS. So when you need the power, all you have to do is just press and basically the battery is going to be self powering the GPS only. So you do not have to power up your entire quad, including the VTX and your express LS receiver, because as, as we all know that if you plug in your VTX in a too long of a period, it's just going to go very hot and it's going to overheat. And also that the signal is going to jam with the GPS signal, causing the GPS lock to take forever. So basically the GPS mate is going to act as a kind of like a my, like a set your mind free thing in like if you needed to like do GPS like operations a lot. So, all right. So basically that is going to be the basic function of what the GPS mate does. Now let's actually connect it to a flight controller so I can show you how the wiring was done. All right, let's get going. Okay. So just for example purpose, what's actually going to be using the access flying build, because this is the one, if you saw my review before, I wasn't able to get the GPS to lock on the satellite because I think there's something jamming with the signal. So what we're going to have to do is you can see that uh, we're, we're, we're just basically going to be adding the GPS maybe in between of the flight controller and also the GPS right here. So we will have to remove this, like these screws out of the way. And we will have to physically solder. Let's actually, before we actually do that, let's actually look at the cables that we have on the GPS mate. So we can decide how we are going to be uh, connecting the GPS again. Okay, let's leave it right here. So let's look at the GPS mate itself. You can see that this side is supposed to go to the GPS and this side is supposed to go to the flight controller. Okay, so it does come with two cables. So this cable with little threads out here, I think this is the site that we're supposed to go to the flight controller because, yeah, you're going to have to solder. And GPS, mostly the, the module will come with a plug. So that's where you should be connecting. All right, the other side we're going to be connecting to is going to be the GPS. So basically this plug goes right there. All right, so you can see that this particular plug head is actually coming with these kind of little adapters. Basically you can create your own 
plugs like by by itself so you don't have to like remove it and redo it again okay now let's actually look at the gps that we're dealing with so same drill you have to so ground goes to ground battery goes to battery so battery basically v so v bat and also r your rx and t is going to be your tx so when you're connecting some kind of like device that basically receives signal or like transmits signal always the r and t has to be reversed so the r on the gps will has to go to the t on the flight controller and the t on the gps will have to go to the r on the flight controller okay so this plug is going to work let's see if we plug it in like this it should be fine we could just do it yeah so it is actually working but you can see that we're still missing like two cables right here so i decided i wanted to use like my own like the one i have in my desk basically it's going to be the same type of plug i think this is sh how many pin this is one two three four five six six pin so we will be able to like at least have a full plug it's not going to like jitter or it's not going to move when we actually are doing that all right the next step we're just going to be plugging in the cables okay so based on our gps layout we know that the far left that we wanted to do is going to be the ground so the ground is going to be the black cable right here so to like build these cables kind of like simple all you need to do is just insert it like this and then there's like a little hook that is just going to hook onto the little mechanism right there and it's just not going to be able to allow you to pull it out okay so you can see that this is a good fit okay so this is how we're going to plug it in right just to make sure yes okay so this is correct the next one is going to be the red cable because that is going to be the one that is v bad so next one we wanted to insert is actually going to be the T. So the T is going to be the green one. So you can see T is going to be green one. And then we're going to plug it in. So the green one is going to be entering like that. Okay, so it's stuck. So the last one is going to be the white cable. So very simple. This is going to be RR. Okay, so basically the side of the GPS has been finished. Let's just basically do a dry fit to see if it actually goes in. Okay, so basically just to power on this thing to give it a quick test so you can see that this is supposed to work right now. So just have to long press it. You can see that basically this should be powering it up. And this little switch right here is going to be allowing you to switch between 3.5, 3.3 volts and basically 5 volts. You can see that the GPS does have power right now. Okay, good thing. All right, let's turn this off. Let's continue the connection to the flight controller. Okay, so next, let's actually look at the flight controller that we will be working with. So this is cable. This actually is not bad of a flight controller. The most of the stuff is just going to be on a plug. It's just super convenient in the sense that you don't really need to know how to start or you know to fix stuff unless you have a problem with the GPS. All right. So let's flip it over right here. So for the GPS connection for the flight controller side, you can see that basically this continuous series of paths are the paths that we will be working with. So since this one is the original cable that we're actually going to be disconnecting this entirely and basically solder to the new one. So the path that we will be working with it is going to be the 5 volt pad. We're going to solder it to the ground pad. We're going to solder it to the R and the T. So for the SDA and SCO, since this one, Betaflight doesn't support these functions anyway. So we're not going to connect these two just to save us some time. All right. So let's first start by unconnecting these so we can basically continue the next step. This has been disconnected. Let's actually connect the GPS to it. All right, so same drill. 5 volt goes to 5 volt. Ground goes to ground. TX goes to RX. You still have to reverse it right here because I think the board reverse it for you again in there. So you have to reverse it right here. And then the RX goes to the TX. Okay, so the connection is now done. Let's actually put it back so we can actually test it out. 
Okay, so next, let's actually switch to my front yard so we can actually have some sky to actually test it. Let's get going. All right, so we're switching the scene to the front yard. So yeah, we have a really clear sky today, so we should be able to get a lot of GPS signal, which is going to be good. So to power this thing on, all you have to do is long press the button on the side. After you hear the two beeps, basically, you know that this is actually feeding power to the GPS already. And basically, this is already working. Okay, so to measure it, so we can know that if we're actually getting GPS signal is we're actually going to be using the SpeedyB adapter, which this is super convenient. We're just going to basically plug in this to the flight controller and we'll just be able to monitor the GPS signal to see how many GPS we're able to get. All right, basically, let's just plug this in. Next, we're actually going to bring out our phone so we can just basically connect to the speedy of adapter so we can monitor the GPS signals. So you can see that the GPS is already powered up and we already got like five locks. So this is, whoa, this is actually really good. Six locks actually. So let's go to the GPS tab. I don't remember. Oh, this is so different than the beta flight software. Okay, so, okay, not bad. We actually get a lot of signals. Okay. So, you can see that we already get a 3D fix true. And basically, this is going to be an indication that, hey, this is already locked. So, yep, my access flying, this one never worked. So, right now, with this one, it actually works. So, very, very good thing. Because this one particular one, I think the, GP, the, the VTX is just too strong. It's just going to be interfering with the GPS signal. I wasn't able to get anything, but right now there is. All right, so basically that's about it for this quick tutorial and basically just a quick guide as of how to show you how the GPS mate works. So as you can see, the result was really easy and the result was actually good that, hey, finding GPS was never so easy in a sense. You do not have to wait a long time and worry about like interference or whatsoever. So very, very good. All right, so if you wanted to check out the GPS mate or if you wanted to check out the SpeedyB adapter, links are going to be at the description. And if you have any questions or further comments, please feel free to leave it down below. And I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.